Welcome back to the channel. It is day two after the pour of the ICF wall and block wall here behind me and around me. Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> Smashing. And I've got some helpers around. These guys are gonna help me clean up all this stuff so we can waterproof the wall. It's gonna keep the water from penetrating into this wall. I've uh, learned or read that these ICF walls are not good for water barrier. There's just all these, all these foam channel uh, supports, tie bars. Uh, there's all kinds of gaps with it being blocks put together. And so you really wanna waterproof this thing really good. And you're gonna see that as we prep the surface, prep the footing and actually do it in this episode, episode 14, I believe, of this patio project, otherwise known as the bunker. All right, let's bring you guys down in here so you can see what we're up to. As you can see, we've got a lot of concrete here and that's because I just decided to dump all the extra stuff in here and, and use it for backfill. Just kidding, I actually had a mistake or a problem, we had a mishap. We blew up this corner. If you watched the previous episode, you would see that. I did not shore up these walls well enough where they tie into these block walls. It was very stressful. I actually felt sick for like a day after because I think I was so stressed and running around so much. But I'm recovered now because it's two days after and I feel pretty good. And it's cooler weather. We got five inches of rain, by the way, uh, last night. It was downpouring and everything did fine. I'm really glad that we poured 24 hours before that rain. All right, let's get the rest of this off. Let's pull this piece off. I don't need that in here. Oh, look, Jesse's coming to that. There. Easy peasy. Now it's time to cut out this piece of concrete down here that's gonna impede my Waterproofing. I know you can't tell what I'm saying, so let's just get started. Safety first. Ah, not again. I need to get a better hammer. Someone, please send me one. Just kidding, I got lots. I just didn't want to have to get out of here and go get a different one. Why well, go through all this work, you might wonder or ask? It's all about waterproofing. It's stink to do all this work and not seal it up so then water seeps inside this bunker. I'm already at risk of that, I think, because the way I brought these walls in, I should have done it a different way so that I could waterproof the outside of all these ICF walls. I was trying to tie it all in and be the strongest I could, but I'm seeing that water could now get in this block wall and make its way through. It could also get underneath this block wall and come along the footing. Probably not gonna be a big deal. I will run a vapor barrier up a little bit on the inside there, but probably only this much since there's already foam board in there. So I would have done this differently had I known and thought this through or you almost need to do both. You gotta know before you can make a different decision and I didn't know. Anyway, I'll keep at it. This is the worst of it. I'll at least clean it up so that the Melro rubber membrane will stick really good to all this and I can at least come and tie it down into here. So hopefully no water 
we'll try to get through the wall right here. How's it going down there, guys? Pretty good. It rained again. This is the third time it's rained. The first one was four and a half inches. So now we're battling rain here later in the season, which is a little different than it was midsummer. But uh, we are backfilling. This is fun. We got to move much of that pile over to here. And why can we backfill? Because this is just the block wall. I don't need to do any waterproofing. And we don't need the scaffolding in there anymore. Thank goodness. Yeah, thank goodness. We can get a move on. And this is an important part to winter prep or when freeze up's coming. We want this all in. No more frost getting to the footing. And uh, then we'll also keep waterproofing on the inside of the wall. Anyway, better get after it. It's not getting done, me standing here. Here you go, Paul. Finally almost done compacting lift two. Now I'm gonna try to dig a ramp from this side so that when we dump dirt in on this lift, the third lift, I can just compact it with the skid steer first and it makes that thing go so much easier. Wow, this is tiring. Looks good. We got Dexter there. We got Laurel there. They're doing a great job putting the waterproofing membrane on. Obviously you can tell its name is Melroll by the, all the marketing they put on the uh, rolls. But I'm putting the primer on. Paul was also putting primer on before he had to go. This stuff has to tack for an hour and then you can put it on and it's really sticky. Like sticky on sticky. The back of this Melroll membrane, it's like a rubber membrane, has a real tar stickiness to it. And it was sticking pretty good to the foam before, but uh, we got this five gallon jug of, of primer, it's called, and now it's really sticking. I'm gonna refill here. They're gonna keep going. We're gonna try to get as much done before the rain again tomorrow. And then I can backfill, and I don't have to worry about this anymore, and it's gonna be sealed up. Water won't be getting in. After we get on this Melroll rubber membrane material, it's important that we caulk the termination points. So wherever it ends, both the starter strip and the Melroll membrane gets a, a bead of this caulk and then I spread it is what they tell me to do. 
and that uh, hopefully keeps the water from coming underneath that edge should it try to do so. Alright, these two got to get going. Really appreciate you guys' help. What an amazing help I get from them. Many times, didn't always make the video, but look what they got done. They got all these Melrose strips on this outer wall here. Now I can go and uh, seal this up and put P-Rock in here, fill sand, all that I need to do, and be ready for the rain. Oh no, I've wrecked my Welker shirt. Walkers, I hope you don't hold it against me. This shirt's not gonna recover. Well, I can buy another one from farmfocus.com and so can you, and I recommend it. They fit great, they work great, and if you need to buy more, they're always so easy to buy from. Farmfocus.com, get all these awesome shirts that I'm wearing. Welkers, Fast Ag, Minnesota Millennial Farmers, Sunny Farms, so many. Ready, by the way, ready. All great places, all uh, great places uh, to sport on your shirts or your hats. Well, it's raining now, just like was predicted. And uh, we're trying to work under these tarps and get something done. It takes a lot longer though. So we're on the complicated corner one. And so I slid it there on the backing paper. We try to pull this off. We unroll the whole thing. And see how this goes. No promises on the cut job. By the way, this stuff's so sticky that if it sticks to itself, it is game over. You cannot get it apart. Looks good to me. Okay. We'll just we'll say it's good then. Mm. Oh, we got a little curl. See, there's a wrinkle, so I tried to fix it, and now it's impossible. I think we might have to live with that. Yep, Let's just so. fix the wrinkle going from here forward. Okay. Let me check that corner, make sure I didn't tear the paper. Now I'm going around, because the best way to get in that cell Oh man, that's a tight squeeze. Is uh, from the outside. You guys remember just a little bit ago, which was yesterday, this was all open and Laurel and Dexter did all the waterproofing. Well, I got that backfilled, compacted. Now let's bring on the rain on that part. Don't have to monkey around with mud going in anymore. I'm pretty excited about that. So I need to. I need to shimmy down here somehow. This is still a little too high. I'm getting too old for this. It's like I'm going down in a creepy cellar. All right. We got some mill roll on in this side. I'm pretty impressed with our uh, tarp job. It, yeah, it's actually pretty effective. We've got a couple leaks, but for how much it's raining, this is so good. Yeah. Here's what I'm after. <clears throat> the best way I've learned is to roll from bottom up. this stuff. Oh, you 
I think this is fun or not fun? Well, right now this is in a super comfortable position right but, here. Yeah, and then down below that. Perfect, right in there. Oops. I mean, oh. Yeah. I'm getting a couple, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This position is getting very old very fast. And that's how it's done. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you keep up on all the content by hitting subscribe there or checking back continuously like every day. Actually, we're gonna be releasing these every Tuesday. If this was a crazy adventure that I'm embarked on and you thought it was interesting or one or the other, hit the like button, appreciate it. God bless. Yes, this is a great underground bunker, isn't it? Just gotta get the lid on.